blasts on. Hey, welcome to a new video. Now in the last video I had a Bose soundbar with just the soundbar itself, no subwoofer. This time we'll try another on product. Um, this is a blast on 42 inch, 42 inch Dolby Atmos soundbar. It's huge. Um, so it's gonna be a 42 inch soundbar. The Bose I had was I think at 20, like 27. So um, this is Dolby Atmos, has four, um, has three HDMI inputs, one HDMI out with eARC. So price this is $2.99 at Walmart. Of course, I'm gonna turn the camera around. We're gonna read the box, see what the box says. Yeah, thanks for being here. Like, comment, subscribe. Okay, so here we go. We got the blasts. 5.1.2 soundbar, seven speakers with Dolby Atmos Plus wireless subwoofer. Now it looks a lot like an LG, I do believe. Big subwoofer. Let's see here, go around here real quick. Um, Dolby Atmos works with Apple AirPlay, that's nice, Bluetooth. On on this side. Let's see what the back says. 5.1.2, seven speaker of Dolby Atmos, wireless subwoofer. Okay, thanks a lot. Dolby Atmos again. Immersive cinema likes around sound audio. That's awesome. 820 watts, yeah, okay. Bluetooth. The basics, boost your audio with 820 watts of peak power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blast on. So, saying 205 watts RMS output. 820 watts peak output four times. Hmm. Four times R. Hmm, okay. Dolby Atmos, Apple AirPlay 2. Connections, four AA HDMI, one optical, one LAN, one USB, one auxiliary. So it shows one, two, three, but the fourth one is eARC. So this is gonna go to the TV. It's really just three inputs, which is fine. And a lot of things now are not even giving you that. So subwoofer's huge. Doesn't say how big the subwoofer is. Power cable, remote controlled batteries, HDMI cable, an optical auxiliary, a LAN cable, wall brackets, one quick start guide. Woo! And then on. Now this is a big old box. Pretty pretty simple soundbar. Just a soundbar and a subwoofer. That should be pretty good. So I'm gonna try to unbox this thing and um, show you all the parts of it. Should be easy, two items. The box is huge for being just two items. So yeah, I'm gonna cut here and we're going to cut here. Safety first. Um, hmm. So pull this flap, pull this flap, and then open this up. See what we are treated to. There's sand bars right on top. Look at that. It goes all the way there. It's a big wide angle, this thing. That must, that's my wide angle lens. So there, all the way to there. Interesting. One big sound bar. One box of accessories. It tells you what they are. Cool. And one subwoofer. And that's it. So the sub was in the bottom. The sound bar is across the top. This is empty and this is empty. What a weird package. Hmm. All right, let's get started with in the wide angle lens. And let's see this subway. Okay, that plastic is out of there. Okay, see the the sub is on. Actually, you know, the sub is where is this? Oh, it's in the front. Oh, it's not a very big sub. Okay. Oh, maybe it is a big, it, it is on the bottom. Hmm. A 
mean, that's, that's a decent looking size. Pretty well built, I would say. Hard to move. I see a dog. Let's see here. Let's read the back. Let's go to a better camera. Okay, let's see here. On. Says, says what it goes to. 108 watts of power consumed. Has a nifty little on off switch pair in the power light. Cool looking base port. But I don't think it'll let us see the actual speaker itself. Let me see here. I'm gonna put it on top of this box here. So it's in there somewhere. So let's 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 measure this. A trusty ruler here. I mean, did they probably call it like an agent subwoofer? But I'd have to take all this apart just to really look at it. I'm not gonna do that. Anyway. Now under further inspection, the sub is only right there. To about there. So it's a small sub. Yeah. Sub needs help. This is what it'll look like just sitting there. That's nice. All right, back to the wide angle lens for this sound bar. Yeah, some kind of plastic on the ends. Yeah, I don't understand how to. Got it. Oh, there we go. There's one. There's two. Piece of tape here. And there's the bottom of it. There it is. It's a big sound bar. So, okay, I switched to the better camera. So it's got a up fire speakers there. Some buttons on there, some instructions. Another up front speaker right there. Now you can't really see inside of this thing. It says there's seven speakers total. But yeah, you can't see in there. The bottom has rubber feet, mounting brackets, round bracket hole, I mean. It's heavy too. I mean I would say Good 20 pounds. Oh, let's read what it says. Shall we? As I see it says 106 watts power consumption. There's a model number. Yeah. So I uh, can see over here to the left of it auxiliary in, optical in, a LAN port. Interesting. A USB. And then on this side you have, see, very deceiving. See, HDMI one, two, three, and then HDMI out, eARC. There. So that's that's uh, wire management, I do believe. You can run your wires in and fold them out that way. Pretty smart. Pretty nice looking too. Let's uh, take a gander at this. Uh, Thing here with the wide angle lens so there it is there that's nice hmm i assume that there are speakers on the sides because i can feel or there might be speakers in there so yeah let's take a look inside here because it says it has all that screw screws wall bracket let's I'm curious Instructions. Just for mine. An optical. Power cables. USB. Not USB. Sorry. What are that things called? Auxiliary. Something. LAN cable. Remote. 
brackets. Yep. Look at this remote. So you have play, up, down, left, right, mute, power, got a volume on the sides, sub up, sub down, Bluetooth, input, sound modes, that's probably settings on remote control. If you do not like that this is just kind of like thrown in here, taped together. I mean, it could have made it separate, but it is what it is. Find that trusty knife. See what brand of batteries we got. These are mm, EXC Alkaline. Never heard of that. Safety first, don't cut the batteries. Only the Roku had a strange setup where both batteries went the same way. This one is like a normal, normal item. Voila. I mean, it feels all right. Yeah, they labeled the power cables for you. AC cord for soundbar. AC cord for subwoofer. As always, I'm going to plug it up, plug it in. Get power on it, plug in my PS5 into it, get my Chromecast Ultra because it does Dolby Atmos and uh, see how all this works. I'm trying to figure out how to set up Wi Fi on it. Um, once I figure that out, I will. Uh... Oh, it does say Wi Fi. Okay. It says you gotta open, turn on your soundbar, connect your iOS to Wi Fi. Okay. So. Yeah, I was curious about that. So that kind of solved my little, my question. Hmm, interesting. So, uh, I'm gonna put this down there. I'll show you how to hook it up. So here's my Chromecast Ultra. I'm gonna plug it to, let's do HDMI number two. Go to two. Now, I mean, I do like this little, teeth that are on this thing, see here, but this Chromecast Ultra is not going to work with that, so, oh well, it's fine, it's fine, it's just going to hang down, it's fine, now, here's HDMI here, my monster, I'm going to put it into one, do this little, <laughs> the little channel thing there, I don't like it bends that one that much, maybe I'll go further out. Mm. Go to, I'm gonna go to the middle and see this one in here. So that, so one's gonna go to my PS5 and this one here I'm gonna plug into the HDMI ARC. And that's gonna go to my TV. Even though I'm not gonna use ARC, like I can see already this is causing some problems here. Chromecast Ultra. Voila, see that? Pretty simple. Was it simple? Yes. Yes, it was. Now I'm plug the one cable here into the TV. Since the cell bar is so tall, I mean, you won't even see wires below it. I mean, it's a tall sucker. Right below my TV. That should work out. We're gonna fire it up and see what okay. happens. I'll plug in the cell bar here. Sorry, not cell bar, the subwoofer. I'm getting a Okay, we'll do it correctly. Check. Now I gotta move it to a corner. Look at the slicer screen. That's the on. That's my big 12 inch. Big America F12 on. So it is all hooked up. Remember, your PlayStation PS5, like I have, your Xbox goes into an HDMI on the soundbar. Take the HDMI out to your TV. The TV is labeled ARC. For this e arc or basic arc is fine. 
So, once that's done, plug in the sound bar, like I did, plug in the sub, put it back there, turn it on. Yeah, make sure your TV's set up, turn on. I gotta figure this, this Wi-Fi thing. So it'll be the first time hitting power. So I got the remote here. Uh, it's set power and then I'll show you what it says. There's the sound bar. It has a little bitty red light on the top. We're gonna hit power. It says, welcome. Back to her game that she was playing. Now, let's go through some options. See, why is it still flashing red? It's flashing red for some reason. Hmm. Is volume yet? Let's see what the max of volume. So max is would be forty. It says thirty nine, and then you hit one more, and it goes to forty. Okay. Now, okay. Back to that. Hit the settings button. As always, there is no. Um, on screen, but you can just treble it looks like. Uh. Hard to tell what that means. Center, left and right, surround left and right, treble. Now how do I make it go up? You can adjust the base. <coughs> Hmm. Interesting. Well, let me play with these settings. I'm going to zoom in down here for a minute. So you hit sound mode. You got movie, music, standard. Movie, music, standard. That is it. Interesting. Okay, so I got it put on the Wi-Fi. So you go to your Apple Home app. You add, hit the plus sign to add the accessory. Now, when I first did it, it was like, um, excess history is not allowed to go in here, but when I was doing that, it was actually put onto the Wi-Fi and it was updating the sound bar for some reason, somehow. And once it got done updating, everything turned off, it was updating. And then I did that again and it added the excess history. So I now I have it on my Apple home app. So now it's on Wi-Fi and I've already did some airplay through it and it works fine. <sighs> Anyways. Now we're gonna to listen to some copyright free music first. Uh, I'm gonna Chromecast it from an Android phone since I'm recording with an iPhone. So I'm gonna do some copyright free. Normally we'd use the PlayStation, but PlayStation does a weird thing with its sound. Um, it doesn't really do, do true 5.1 when it's doing YouTube. It'll do a, a it's it's a it's a it's a Phantom 5.1, but it's really only really two speakers in it. Messing with sound. So we're gonna do some copyright free through a Chromecast Ultra. So let's see how this works. Okay, here we go. Music Walker. See the why it's it's a very loud sound bar, so it's only at twelve. Over you by Arch. Journey Through Space by Lenel Casio. Instrumental by Ryujin. Hmm. First Light by Arch. More bass, please. 
So, one thing to note, the sub rattles just by itself. I don't know what's going on. Maybe the plastic covers on the bottom rattles. It, it just rattles when you turn up the, the sub power. Which is a shame, because it sounds pretty good overall. Um, when, it, when it went to full volume, um, things sounded kind of crazy. Uh, it was compressing too much. So, and it's saying 120 watts. I, I don't... I don't believe that at all, to be honest. So, um, let's play some games, see if it can throw some sound around us. I am curious. So, let's, let's try that next. Also, side note, it does not have CEC, because when I switch my inputs going, um, like when I turn on the Chromecast, it didn't automatically change to it. I had to manually change it with the remote. It's not reading it. Now, I don't know what why that is. It could be, you know, the TV not accepting it, but it is what it is. Okay, call of duty. Response is fine. No lag that I can tell. Domination. Check, check the volume. Take the objective. Turn on the Security power. 20. Down. Oh man, I forgot. I need to change my gun. So we're sitting here playing some Call of Duty using the on Blast on 5.1.2 soundbar, and I mean it's 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 trying to throw it around us the best that it can. One thing I don't like is that I have to turn the sub up almost to maximum just to find its presence. Now it says in the manual, got to go through the manual. You can adjust the surround, the up firing speakers, the surround speakers, the center, the front, and the treble. You can adjust the bass. And um, so this sub has 400 watts of power. I, I don't think that's correct. So, but yeah. Can you hear, can you hear sound come from here? here. This is not enough bass from this. Just to see if we can 
Here's some sound around us. Our As a restart, because everything was too loud in my house. Let's see. Come on. The pyramids still generate network There we go. Now I heard it behind me. Can you hear it? The threat is beyond any we faced. Hmm. Okay. More guessing gameplay. There's, there's a little bit of, de of delay, I think, in the sound. Let's go down here and see. Grenade down here. Yeah, I mean, it, it tries. Okay, so playing games, yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to throw the sound around me. There's a little bit of lag in the sound, but not too bad. But, okay, so now let's try playing a Dolby Atmos movie. It's, it's Spider Man Far From Home. Uh, I'm I'm gonna watch a lot of it, but I'm gonna show like a few clips to you because it's copyrighted. There's gonna be on the side. sound good to you so i need to come up with some kind of rating system so played games did some copyright free music watched a movie and um if i had a rating system going which i don't have one yet i need to get one since i make so many videos these days um for what it is i'll give it a seven out of ten what what it is is one sound bar subwoofer and it does its best i mean it actually sounds and one part of Spider-Man, heard sound go around me. Uh, it was like water. So that sounded cool, but there was still a little bit of um, delay in the speech. I don't know if you can adjust that, but it's kind of annoying. Uh, but for what it is, it, it does a good job. For most places, smaller rooms especially, this thing, if it had walls on the side, I mean, it would be throwing a sound all around you. The weak part, I think, is a subwoofer. Subwoofer needs more power. Even though it says it has tons of power, but it does not. 
um, that is just me being honest. I had to go with full volume, and then when you go full volume, it rattles. The subwoofer rattles. So note that if you buy this, turn this up down, have it in a little bit smaller room than what I have going on, and but the sound bar is huge. I'll be honest. Um, but yeah, seven out of ten. So there it is, two 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 ninety nine at Walmart. So yeah. Thanks for being here. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Until next one. Bye-bye. And there's many more coming.